one. All right. So I got this theory, right? There's a ton of men online, our brothers, our black kings, <laughs> and they're like complaining a lot about, you know, chicks who they want a bag and a purse and this and that or the crazy dates just to even get to know them. Not even to get the pussy, just to even get their time and attention, right? And I think that when men are talking about the women, they're not talking about women in general. They're talking about a specific type of woman. And I think because it's a specific type of woman, men kind of have to evaluate who they're approaching, right? Because they talk about it like it's all women, but we know it's not. But it's really just the bad bitches. Like that's who that's who they're looking for. That's who they're going for. And they're complaining about what's required to date these bitches. And today's episode is about bad bitches. Dating bad bitches ain't easy. And I do not recommend. You say zero out of ten? Zero out of ten. I do no not stars. Yep. So. <laughs> Rosen Podcast. Uh, this is a, another week, another episode. Uh, we just got back from New York uh, yesterday. I just got Whoa. back yesterday. I just got back two days ago. Yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, I had a birthday party out there. Shout out to uh, Chris who set up the birthday party. Shout out to everybody who participated. Um, who we got? Everybody, everybody was there. Yeah. Everybody it was, was amazing. There. Nate it was, was there. Amazing. Shout out to Real Estate Nate. He came to all four shows. We didn't even have every FC, FC Network member at all four shows, but we had Nate at all four shows. That's which is, crazy. Which, which is dope. Like he and he's not even living in Chicago, so he flew to all four cities. And that's which is dope. A real supporter. Um, Shout out to again, him again. We had uh. Ahmad come out, Brian come out, KD came out, all from, you know, these are all people who just been listening to the podcast mm-hmm. from like the very beginning to now. So to meet these people in person, it's and lit. It, it was just like super dope. Um, shout out to everybody else who came. Lauren and Lionel, they slid on us. All the special guests, Tahoe, each, everybody. Like it, it was super dope. Darissa, yeah. um, all of that, man. But today in the studio, we got Jody. Jody's here. Jody's here. Precious is here. Precious. The hostess with the mostest. We got the freak hostess and, and the regular hostess. We'll host. We can't call them regular. <laughs> the freak hostess and the. The high host? I don't know. High host. <laughs> high host. High host. Mm. Womp womp. Um, he then, he put his hand up because he knows. <laughs> see, he knows. He, he got gonna, what he understood. What I'm gonna agree to with your bullshit with that man. That's fucked he, up. I mean, um, <laughs> and then we got real Duncan here on the boards, of course, of course, of course. So you already know today, bad bitches dating bad bitches ain't easy, man. Dating bad bitches is not easy. So before we jump into that, we gotta define like what's actually a bad bitch. Yeah, I hate that we try to redefine things so much in culture. I hate it. Because a lot of chicks try to redefine what a bad bitch is to fit themselves into that category. Absolutely. Is it being a bad bitch is something to aspire to be? It's not. You could be a lot of other things. You could be a boss bitch. Mm-hmm. You could be a lot of other type of bitches, mm-hmm. but you want to be a bad bitch. Yeah. So it's like a, lo- a lot of chicks try to say like, oh, well, you know, a bad bitch, it ain't just about looks. It's about ah. how you carry <laughs> yourself and... Yo, you you got your shit together. You getting money. You got your own shit. No, ain't no ain't no nigga ever looked at an ugly chick with a with a big ass house and a nice job and said that's a bad bitch right there. Like mm. niggas never said that. Like ever. A bad bitch is literally based on how you look, how you look, and it's a little bit of how you carry yourself because a girl could look really really good and carry herself really really bad and and x herself from being a bad bitch. Mm-hmm. And that's, it's hard to see. Mm-hmm. It's hard to watch. It is. It's hard to watch. He say, ah, I felt that. You know, but at the same time, I do feel like, you know, bad bitches exist. Bad bitches are a thing. And they're just a different breed. And it's just different to deal with them. Yeah. What do you think? I agree, honestly. Um, I really feel like um, there are a lot of men that want bad bitches or go after bad bitches. And they know that bad bitches are out of their league. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's selfish. Um, and I think men like that kind of try to like humble or diminish mm. a woman that already knows what she's she wants and isn't gonna settle for less, you know? 
That's crazy because I think men trying to humble and diminish women that don't that don't just happen to bad bitches. Absolutely not. That happened to girls who got their shit together. Too. Absolutely. That happened to girls who just are sure of they self, confident with they self, don't want to get a pussy up. Men want to knock them down. Whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a, a nigga not getting what he want out of a chick. If a certain type of nigga, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. Put yeah, that on for all sure, of us absolutely. At all. If it's it's certain types of niggas that if they not getting what they want out of a chick, they definitely want to like humble her, diminish her. Them the same niggas who will throw a bottle at you because. You don't want to give them the number or whatever yep. the case may be. Or a brick. Or a brick. He's been throwing bricks lately. Yeah, it's crazy. But I absolutely do agree with you um, in regards to like, <sighs> women do be trying to change the narrative in regards to bad bitch. Like, we honestly have to think about it. Like, we're 30, 30, a little bit over 30, whatever. Um, when the term like baddie or like bad bitch came out, we were probably like early teens, maybe. Like maybe a little late teens when when bitches teens. start being bad. Like, like you bad. When bad start being a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> we like, was probably in our late teens. I'm thinking about that five star chick song. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like she a bad guy. bitch. Like that's yeah. a bad bitch. You like, that's, damn, a bad her. bitch. And you like, oh wait, a bad bitch. I see. So mm-hmm. we was like, you know, in our teenage years, and like you said, that only was what was on the surface. That was only like what the first thing that you see when you lay eyes on a bitch, that's what makes her a bad bitch. Exactly. Before she opens her mouth, exactly. before she tell you what she does for a living, before she tell you how many kids she had, yeah. before you found out she got a man, before like all of that. Like, yeah. oh, that's a bad bitch. And yeah. then you found out she's not bad. Because what I do say is when you get to know somebody, yeah. that's your personal interest that will eventually get you to say, ah, oh, that bitch is just a pretty bitch. Yeah, and I, I do feel like you can... I could get to know a chick and she'd be, like, totally trash. But mm-hmm. it's like, she's still a bad bitch yeah. she bad. But I feel like the the part that excludes you would be like... Because you, you could see a bad bitch who really, like... You don't know what the fuck she got going on for her. She might got a Louis bag and live in a fucking projects. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Happens like, all the time. But at the same time, she's still a bad bitch. I think the thing is, like, when she, like, got the natural beauty and the body and all of that, and, like, her nails is fucked up or... Her hair fucked up mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be. That kind of like the, the carrying like, yourself uh, part that makes yeah. it like, uh, Facts. you got these dirty ass flip flops on like. Damn, but you, bitch, could, you could be a bad bitch though. Yeah, but I can hit a bitch <laughs> sliding down Cottage Grove. You don't look like you smell good. <laughs> yeah. Like it's shit like that, right? Yeah. So I don't know. That's that. I, again, I don't think a bad bitch is something that. I feel like bad bitches are only on the top of the totem pole or the top of the hierarchy when it comes to. <laughs> In the dating scene, mm-hmm. okay. because it's a lot of niggas who just gonna pick that chick, whether she do live in the projects, whether she do got whatever the fuck, whatever because fuck of that how shit she, she got going on. It's a lot of niggas that's gonna just value that woman over everything else, and there's some men out here who will value the boss bitch over the bad bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they might value in. For me, it's somewhere in the middle. I definitely can say that. Like I have seen. I mean, shit. Like. I have seen plenty of occasions where the nigga like take in the bad bitch mm-hmm. and like the bitch don't have shit. Yeah. And I think that that takes a certain kind of nigga though. So that's yeah. what I say when I say like though. niggas are li- literally like totally just like reaching out of their league. And I just don't understand why niggas do that. And it's fucked up. I think it's hard for niggas to accept that this woman's out of my league and she don't have yes. shit. She just look good. But that's the reality of it. I was just watching a, um, an interview about a, uh, this divorce lawyer had this interview about, you know, he, he do these million dollar divorces. Mm-hmm. And he was like, mm. he's, he's done divorces where a woman walked away with 250 million. And it was like, dude built a company from the ground up and she was just a bad bitch he met at a coffee shop. Like she had no skills, no experience, no nothing. She didn't even have And now kids. she's going to live lavishly forever like her she she didn't do any hard work or do any even i'm not even saying in the marriage i'm saying her as an individual yeah. by herself yeah. had accomplished nothing mm-hmm. in life until the day she met this nigga mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like um no disrespect but fuck it when you think about savannah james she fucked the right nigga in high school and became a billionaire mm. yeah i mean because like, at the end of the day like that lady is just a mom and so a wife. like looks, like <laughs> the a woman's looks is currency, literally. Like, and I think when women realize that and learn how to leverage that, men hate that shit. 
Absolutely. Because it's like, who are you to leverage my hard on my hard earned things mm-hmm. for nothing? Like you've done nothing. You you've done nothing to achieve any level of status. You just were literally born looking this way. Some bitches well, actually do hustle up the bread to get what the do men tell us? And, that, and they pay to look that way though. Choose better men. Mm. Choose better women. I agree a thousand percent. <laughs> I agree with Choose that. better women, because at the end of the day, like, I just feel like when you're a certain type of caliber of men, like, you have to, you can't just, you can't be out here trying to save everybody. You can't be out yeah. here like accepting a woman who does nothing or has nothing going for herself. For sure, like a bad bitch is not really gonna get you anywhere. And I think you know that's where I could say like, I think that that's kind of where women try to like. Stand on like, oh, I feel like a bad, they feel like a bad bitch is more than just like looks. And I feel like there needs to be another term because to a certain extent, like a woman who really, I do feel like there should be a term for a woman who is bad as shit and really do get all her other shit together. Like we need a term Mm. for that. (laughs) Oh, so you need like a boss bitch. Yeah, bitch like a bad bitch boss. Like a, I don't know. Like there needs to be some. No. Because all these chicks is queens. That, now, please. Right? Like. <laughs> Let's make the term. Let's make the new term. For we the, need to come up with something. Bitch, bad bitch. Who, who's the proto, who's the, the, the hybrid bitch prototype? No, bro. <laughs> I'm just playing. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. No, I'm just playing. Okay. But the top tier, like bad bitch boss bitch. Yeah. Mm. Rihanna. Okay. Rihanna. What we say, Rihanna? Okay. Yeah. Why Rihanna? Rihanna? She's literally like the epit. First of all, we don't have to disagree that she's beautiful. Gorgeous. Like a bad bitch for sure. Like you just sure. look at her, you don't got to open your mouth. I ain't yeah. even heard your accent yet, bitch. And it's, it's like, well, her is <laughs> you a bad appeal. bitch. It, oh my God, those eyes. Like you, you could just undress. Me. I would look at her and start undressing. Yeah. In public. If you take the sex appeal away, Rihanna <laughs> looked like probably like the prettiest bitch at your high school or your college. Yeah, but, but the, the sex, sex appeal, appeal that she have that you can't teach that shit. It's justice. just something about the sex appeal that like, just put her in another fucking stratosphere. So now that we got that out the way, Facts. bad bitch. Fancy, look at the things she's yeah. done. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's a prototype. boss ass bitch. I don't I I, I agree, but mm-hmm. I don't want to use Rihanna because Okay. How much did her music career leverage everything else as far as like the business and shit like that? A lot because she only came over here to sing those songs for a little while. Of course. And then use this to Yeah. And I, I don't I don't say and get back home. anything away from her because she do she do had a natural talent for one and mm-hmm. she did also leverage the natural talent, which is is not easy to do. It's a lot of people who are born with natural talent and don't, whether they don't have the opportunity, they don't create the opportunity or mm-hmm. they just, you know, it's just hard to leverage shit. Yeah, that, facts. You know, it is what it is. But I don't want to use her because the music plays such a role in that. I'm, I want to think about a chick who just built some shit from the ground up. Like, mm. I, I want, I'm, the Jada keep pop the Jada way the chick pop in my head, but I Lil Baby plays a role in that. But even before Lil Baby, she yeah, still Yeah, Lil Baby like, don't really play a role in that, honestly. He don't play. Okay, cool. So is she the good a good prototype? I would she say built whatever she the what is it, hair? What does she do? Yeah, her ass started um selling weave. Like when we first like like when the whole like resale shit started coming into play, yeah. like when weave stores wasn't the thing. Like you can just pull up to no store and get no bundles. Like right. no. Um, and she, yeah, she started a hair business and like, she made like a million dollars in a year. That's a, that's the, like, that's the you know prototype. Yeah. Yeah. Most bad and she's a bad bitch. Like bitch, I would look yeah. at Jada and be like, oh, she is very beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. Let's get back to the struggles of dating a bad bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think one of the biggest struggles is you have to be very secure. Definitely. I've dated, I'm going to say. Three women, like when I say dated, I mean like dated, dated. Mm-hmm. Three women that I felt like was bad bitches, mm-hmm. right? One of them was a bottle girl. <laughs> okay, that's a tough spot to be in, and it wasn't. It wasn't tough for me throughout the situation. It just was like upfront having to like because at first she wasn't a bottle girl the whole time we dated, right? She became a bottle girl after college. Okay, but. 
when she became a bottle girl, it was like, okay, I'm not going to stop her from doing this. She's making her money. You know what I'm saying? And she's making a, a lot of fucking money. Mm-hmm. But I have to accept this. Like, I have to, like, deal with this. I have to not, like, I can't press her or make her feel uncomfortable about what she's doing at any point. Facts. Because I would be a weak-ass nigga to do that. And that's something that, like, like, you know, compensate Get out her that income. Shit like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Unless I'm going to compensate her income, then at the end of the day, like, no. So, it was tough. Mm-hmm. And the tough part about it is that I know niggas is trying to buy my bitch every day. Like, she'd tell me, like, yeah, nigga, like, I made, like, $800 today. I worked for, like, three hours. And I'd be like, damn, why the fuck? Like, what you just sold a whole bunch of sex? She's like, nah, niggas just, one nigga gave me $100 to go get him an orange juice. Another nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas is trying to buy your bitch. So I smiled at him. You know <laughs> like, literally. Another situation we was in, she um she worked at a radio station. And it would be a ton of rappers, like, coming in and out. Mm-hmm. So Rick Ross offered to take her to lunch. Mm. Right? And, of course, he offered, I ain't gonna say of course, but she said she he offered it to her under the guise of some type of networking mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be. So she called me, asked me how I felt about it. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm not, again, I'm not finna, she's a stylist too, so I'm not finna try to, I'm not finna tell you no because I feel uncomfortable and this right. could actually like excel yeah, your career. For sure. Even if he just trying to fuck, it's up to you whether you fuck this nigga or not. And there's nothing I can do to stop you at Absolutely. the end of the day whether I'm your nigga or not. So it's no point in me being like, hell no, nah, don't do that shit. Like, there's no point in me. Hey, mm-hmm. I trust you. To not be a dumbass. <laughs> and I hope <laughs> that it's like because that's all know. I can really trust you to do. I can't I ain't gonna say I trust you to not fuck that nigga. But it is what it is. Mm. And she she decided not to do it because she ain't feel comfortable with it. But I appreciated her even like letting me know. Yeah. Because if I would have just been downtown driving and saw you in the car with Rick Ross, I would have probably pissed on myself. Literally you know threw like, up. Like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> And I fuck with Ross. Now I gotta stop listening to Ross. This shit Cannot is crazy. listen to any more Aston Martin music. Yeah, that's why I watch the Bulls <laughs> right now. Anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's. I think it's it takes a lot of security to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how much bridge you got, you know, at the time I was fresh out of college. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't had no issues and no shit like that with mm. money or like no shit like that at the time. So, but I do think. It takes a lot of security for one. And I do think as well, you're dealing with a woman that at any moment can realize that her looks are currency and always look for or feel like I can have I could be in a better situation. So if you're dealing with a chick that's like that and she's not in the right head space for mm-hmm. a relationship for real, it's gonna be hard for her to not look other it's gonna be hard for her to her eyes to not wonder because she's gonna know that like I like the nigga on wit. But yeah. I could probably date any of these niggas. Like mm-hmm. NBA players be fucking regular chicks now. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think that's crazy because, like, as a kid, I just I would assume that these niggas is millionaires. They probably fuck like the baddest bitches mm-hmm. in the world. But like, then now you get this age and you realize, like, damn, like we all fucking the same girl. Like they fucking the same chicks. Me rotation. and my homies is fucking. Like, <laughs> it's the same thing. You know just what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So it's like when the chicks realize that it's like, okay, I really like this nigga, but I could also fuck this NBA player and get whatever I want. Yeah. So like, now this nigga on thin ice. Even though he being the best nigga he could yeah, be. That, like, like really put his best foot forward. Yeah. And it's it's it can easily be like, eh. Dating a bad bitch ain't easy, G. Yeah, no. But to be honest, like, it's crazy because, like, a majority of the niggas that do get the bad bitch, Mm -hmm. it don't really always be lasting. Mm -hmm. Like, it really, honestly, be running its course. Because I do feel like, yes... Of course, like you, you say men not visual, but I feel like you really do know that men are visual. I don't agree. Okay, well that's fine. Let's move on from that. Yeah. Uh, men are visual, so I feel like men see a bad bitch, and of course they want her or like yeah. blah 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 blah, especially sexually or like whatever. Like you know, like especially if you a put together ass nigga and like you know that you're secure, you know you got money. This bad bitch on your arm, you know that that visually that's a plus Mm -hmm. but i do feel like if you really are a nigga that's not just making money or secure with money but making your money in a smart way or like do i feel like eh, and once you see that this bitch don't have any other attributes it's kind of like huh 
Yeah. I might, I I kind of could go get another bad bitch. This bad bitch is everywhere and I want the next bit bad bitch to be, have some other kind of substance. I think bad bitches are limited. I don't think there's bad bitches everywhere. Okay. I mean, maybe if you're, <laughs> maybe if you're rich, it probably is bad bitches everywhere. Yeah, I because feel I, like dep- I feel like there are places, and like we've talked about this, like going certain places, traveling certain places, doing certain like that is what makes you able to say like, ah, there's a plethora of bad bitches. But <sighs> when you're I around the same bitches, it's like huh? I think there's a <laughs> lot of attractive women in the world, mm-hmm. a-, a ton of them. Okay. But like that bad bitch, mm-hmm. bad. So name three bad bitches right now. Like regular bad bitches or okay, I don't want you to name drop like bad regular bitches. bad bitches, but like celebrity bad bitches right now. I mean, there's a ton of celebrity bad bitches. Okay, who? Um, I don't know. Coco <laughs> Jones is a bad bitch to me. Like, okay, she's, Ice Spice is a bad bitch. I mean, I know you don't like Ice Spice. I know you think she looks retarded and shit. <sighs> but I think hey, Ice Spice is a bad don't bitch. don't say that. Uh, who else? Cardi B is a bad bitch. Lotto is a bad Lotto is a bad bitch. Lotto is a bad bitch. Lotto is a bad bitch. Let me restart my list. Actually. I was going to say- I can uh, take it off a notch. Let's go Lotto. Let's go- I like Just, Justine Sky. Mm-hmm. I'm still going to throw Coco Jones in there. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of- it's a lot of when you when you take the pool of celebrities, there's a ton of bad bitches. Okay. When you go to the club in Chicago, there's three. It's, it could be 400 people in here. It's going to be about mm. three bad bitches in the room. Okay. Chicago, one of the biggest cities in America. You know what I'm saying? If you go to uh, Art, Art Basel in Miami, it's going to be an abnormally amount of bad bitches mm-hmm. because that's... It's like a bad bitch gallery, like the bad bitches <laughs> Not the themselves art, bad bi- in certain places. But on a regular day, on a regular day, you're not even going to see a bad bitch. Mm. On a regular... T- today is Monday, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if I go... Have you seen a bad bitch today? Day, I've seen a bad bitch today. But... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the fuck? Like... But that's not the... Okay. That's not the... I hate Real, have you seen that. a bad bitch today? I haven't been out Okay, so you don't count. Uh, Precious, you seen a bad bitch today? He's gone. He's oh, damn. Time, what the hell? Jody, you seen a bad bitch today? Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. Oh, you hate they, that I ask that, don't you? No, I mean, they, I mean, if you take the statistics the, the from the room, then I won. Like, I saw a bad bitch today. <laughs> fuck you. So now it's 50 I feel like you just said that. <laughs> no. To even score. I saw a bad bitch today, period. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just think that you. But no, I think it's all about perspective at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I think it's all about perspective. As far as what? Because you could go to the club and think it's only three bad bitches in there. And somebody else might go to the club and see 10. And somebody else might go... Like, it's all... What what you consider a bad bitch... I think what we consider attractive is more subjective than, like, So bad what do bitch. you consider to be a bad bitch? Um, it's hard to describe, but I think if you line up 10 niggas and say... Who's the bad bitch? We are gonna point at the same bitch. <laughs> like, mm. I, I think that like the same one bitch yeah. out of like five bitches. I so. You think I, think I so. definitely don't think that. And now we need to write that down as an idea. No, that's disrespectful to play that as a game. Never mind. I don't know. I think like I think if you I think if we go down the line and say like who's attractive, would you hit her? Would you not hit her? Do she look good? Do she not look good? You're gonna get a lot of different answers. But I think we all know what a bad bitch look like. Mm. I don't think so. I think so. I think a bad bitch is a different bitch for everybody. Like this bitch, this ni- so. I'm talking about this bitch. This nigga might pick the cute light skinned girl, the fat mm-hmm. ass light skinned girl. This nigga might pick the fat ass dark skinned girl. Everybody this know. This nigga might pick the skinny N- nigga, girl. Niggas who don't this nigga know, might pick the girl. Niggas with the who fat don't ass. like dark skinned girls know Bernice Burgos is a bad bitch. A nigga, a, don't, don't fuck with dark skinned girls at all. No, Bernice Burgos is a bad right, bitch. Right, but if it's not all dark skinned girls, then he's going to pick. The light skinned girl, even though he knows that a dark skinned girl okay, so maybe the way could be I a bad bitch. May, He's not may, saying a dark skinned girl can't be a bad bitch. He just prefers light skinned girls. He might prefer light skinned girls, but he still know a bad dark skinned bitch when he see one. I, maybe the way I read it, it made it seem like I meant who's the baddest bitch. But no, if not you Trina. said identify the bad <laughs> bitches, we all know what bad bitches look like regardless of our preference. 
I don't even like thick ass girls for real. Like I uh-huh. like petite chicks. I like like slim chicks. But I don't like titties. Okay. But it's girls with big titties That's that I know bad like this bitches. is a bad bitch. <laughs> like this is not my preference. Okay. That's not even my preference. Okay. I would take a regular bitch that's built the way I want my bitches to be built over her. But she's still a bad bitch, and this bitch not. Yeah. She just my preference. Well, I was on I I agree with what you're saying. I was only saying that in regards to lining bitches up and thinking that a nigga gone like several niggas gonna choose the same woman just because that's a bad bitch like it really it can't go that way <laughs> i'm not that's not really what i meant <laughs> okay when i i just meant like if you, you meant like it was identify, 10 bitches and five of them was bad only and niggas they could would pick, pick them we would all pick y'all would know to we pick know them the difference between okay, bad bitches okay. and attractive bitches. all right all right that was okay you cleaned it up all right cool all right, all right cool 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 <laughs> yeah i was like oh i would <laughs> like to see <laughs> cool 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 this another thing though that um you know, we talk about the struggles of dating bad bitches. Mm-hmm. Of course, like there's gonna be a lot of a ton of attention that comes their way. The DMs are gonna be insane. <laughs> like, never go through a bad bitch. Crazy. Phone. Never go through a bad bitch phone. That's like a funeral. Mm. Like you Damn. Funeral. Yeah, it's crazy. Like you're gonna see your homies in there. Like <laughs> all type of shit. Like it's gonna it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna get crazy. Yeah. You will see your homies in your bitch phone regardless. But I ain't gonna go there. Uh- ah <laughs> man, let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's another so. topic for another day. But I also think that like, you know how like a lot of guys are insecure when they dating like very attractive women. Yeah. I think you got to really assess like what's a person's relationship with attention. And that, that go beyond like bad bitches or it go beyond women, just people. Mm-hmm. I think you really have to, when you look at somebody and people would cheat on you for regardless. There's mm-hmm. tons of different reasons Absolutely. why people cheat. But I think one thing that's important for how a person acts when you're out together and mm-hmm. how much respect that you're being shown when y'all moving around different rooms mm-hmm. and there's different people trying to shoot at your girl and how how long is she holding these conversations or is she just curving niggas, kind of like letting it be known that she's taken versus, you know, like it's, it's a lot of shit that go on like that. And I think you Absolutely. really have to assess someone's relationship with attention. Like, is this person deprived and starving for attention? Mm-hmm. Or is this person comfortable getting attention? Do this person not like attention? Do they thrive off of it? Do they thrive off Do of they, attention? Yep. And I think a lot that'll tell you a lot about the person and what you're getting yourself into. And it'll also make it easy for, easier for you to not take shit personal. Because everything that you don't like isn't cheating or mm-hmm. necessarily mm-hmm. disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Right? Some people just might enjoy attention. So if you got... Anybody can enjoy attention... Everybody in a bad bitch. So if you got a bad bitch that enjoy attention, mm. yeah, that's heavy. <sighs> that's heavy. You gonna have to be a secure nigga. That's heavy. Cause them conversations when people walk up to her and compliment her, and she's oh thank you, she lighting up and shit. You just like alright, bitch, chill. Ah man, <laughs> like, chill the fuck out. I'm gonna put my head down on this one. That be you. <sighs> that be you. You be lighting up when niggas. I'm very okay. So I. What's your relationship with attention, Cam? (laughs) I feel like I won't say that like I fish for attention because that's not the case. Um, But I feel like I'm naturally drawn to the attention that I do get, Mm -hmm. and because I'm just like bubbly and social and like, huh? It may seem like I'm overly indulging in a compliment. Mm-hmm. But in reality, I'm just like grateful for the compliment. Mm. I think that's important though. Yeah, because I think everybody like people, and I can't turn down like my bubbly. Like I can't be like, oh, this a nigga. Thanks, nigga. Like yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, oh, thanks. Like you know, uh. <laughs> I, I think that go into a few things. I think number one, it go into like actually getting to know somebody, mm-hmm. which we don't really get ourselves the opportunity to do because like if I come into a situation trying to date you. I'm not going to truly get to know you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I'm looking at you yeah, as somebody absolutely. who I want to be with. I'm looking I'm looking at your actions to check off boxes of like, I like this, I don't like this. I, you can't truly get to know somebody that way. Yeah. If I came at you as a friend mm-hmm. and I'm open to you acting however the fuck you acting because mm-hmm. I ain't on shit with you anyway, I can understand that you're bubbly yeah. and that you react like that and you ain't on shit. Yeah, then if we end up dating sooner, if we end up dating later on, I already, I get that. I understand that don't bother me. Yeah. But if I just meet you and I want to date you, I'm gonna look at that like, what the fuck is she? This on? friendly ass bitch. <laughs> like, yeah, like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to see it no other way because yeah. I'm not looking at you as a human. I'm looking at you as 
my girlfriend. Somebody I want to yeah be with. And yeah. you, and because I'm looking at you as my partner, you I want you to adapt to it's who fit, I need my, you to be. Yep. And I and think a true. lot of people. Um, I just saw a girl on TikTok saying this. A lot of people adapt themselves so much to whoever they come in contact with, and they expect other people to do the same. So if you like me, you will start doing this. You will change your personality to start doing the shit that I like. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do that, you must not like me that much. And it's just like, mm. it's some bullshit. That's crazy. But it's common though. The whole like, oh, you make time for the things you care. Like, no, actually, bitch, I'm focused on the goals I want to <laughs> accomplish and whoever the fuck I date. And no matter how much I like them, yeah. I'm still going to yeah. be on the same fucking time. Because I've had schedule. these goals for, for a year and I just met you, bitch. Yeah. Like, like what, what, what are we talking about? Relax. So yeah. it, it's very common for people to want the person that they're dating to just instantly adjust to their liking. Mm -hmm. And if they don't adjust, then it's like, you must not like Yeah, them. and that's because people don't want to, like crazy. you said, take their time to get to actually know people because they're afraid that incompatibility will come into play. And due to the desperation to be with someone, mm. they don't want to face that. So instead, they would just rather jump into... The dating, the fucking, the doing all the extra shit without taking the time to actually learn that this person is not for you. That's some real shit. Yeah. That's some real shit. Um, you think so the moral of this story is that we all need to date sevens, right? No, I think the moral <laughs> of the story is to date within your league. What's your league? How do you assess your league? Let's talk about that. Nick, you know your league, nigga. I don't think this was what I believe. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I believe, because we all play this cat and mouse game, right? Okay. Everybody's chasing the person they want to be with while ignoring the person who like them. And the person you chasing that want to be with you is chasing another motherfucker they want to be with. The reason why, all of this shit is kind of based first off of physical attraction, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we value the person who's more attractive, even though the person who's right for us is probably the less attractive person. Mm -hmm. And they're doing what, they're doing all the things we need them to do, Right. And guess what? It's a person that's less attractive than them of the opposite sex who they're ignoring. Like the same way that bad bitch is ignoring you, that regular bitch you ignore is it's ignoring the nigga yeah, that thinks she facts. that she thinks she cold. Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or think like this is the upper echelon for him. I think everybody perceives themselves as two points above whatever the fuck they really are. Mm. I think every girl that's a six thinks she's an eight. I think every girl that's an eight thinks she's a ten. I think when niggas and niggas too, not even just damn. So what about just, the bitches that think they're ten? Then I think there are eights, the people who think you say they're delusional. You're saying the bitches that are tens. <laughs> right, the bitches that are tens. They, like, damn, yeah, what is they, it? They, 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 <laughs> he say off the charts. Eight, I mean, 10, 20, whatever. You you, you the upper ass around, whatever. Like, it's mm -hmm. not a lot of them. But at the end of the day, I think that even as men, right, like a man can look at himself and, and think that he's a couple points above where he's at. So if he look, if he's a six looking at himself seeing an eight, guess what he going to chase? An tens. Eight. No, he's going to chase an eight. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tens. That man is gonna chase tens, and he, that's the sick part about it. That's why be. we're having this conversation right now. And, and, and he's and gonna chase fucking tens when in reality he needs to be chasing sevens. And the, but he might find damn a, not damn. He, he, he might damn. find a ten. He might find a ten that's on the same frequency as him. So I'm not gonna say don't chase the ten, but your likelihood. Is like, but he don't know his likelihood is low. He don't know that <laughs> he is chasing them teens. He don't know that because he feel but, like she. I'm an eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, eight. <laughs> like this bad bitch. She not better than me. That he know that that bitch is ten. He gonna try to make her an eight in his head. Right. <laughs> so like, so I think, but I think that's why it's hard for people to assess they leave. Like, Shit's crazy. Even for me, like I think a lot of the chicks that. Delu Lu. I don't even think it's that delusional. I think that I think that because I don't think. Yeah, you do have niggas that's like sixes. <laughs> Wait, chill, 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 chill. chill, chill. Dead ass. You do have niggas Dead that's ass. like. You do have niggas that's like. I guess what you would consider a six chasing a ten. I mm -hmm. just think that's just men. Men just want to conquer shit, whatever. Yeah. I don't think women probably do that as much. I think women fantasize about niggas, but I don't think women is out here chasing. But I do think everybody chases like a couple points above, right? And I think that that's why it's hard to assess your league. Your league, I feel like people be really like, yeah. Because I don't think about myself, for example. Like I might be delusional. I don't fucking know. The Lulu. But I feel like the Lulu. The Lulu, bro. I feel like I don't. I don't. I feel like there's not chicks that I chase and don't deal with. Like, like I'm just not getting them right. But I do think the women <laughs> that are like on me. Mm -hmm. Are not the ah, you say no no like, no no for real like because you want them ten 
Yes. <laughs> but I be fucking with them though. Like I, I need to say. He said I be fucking the team. I be fucking, fucking them, with. But, sorry. I be fucking them, fucking with them, but it don't be going nowhere. But like ah, the man. bitch that's doing everything I need her to do is like is not, a seven. I don't know what the number is, but it's not the chick that I'm like. You say really I don't want her to hear this. Physically. I don't want her to hear this. I don't know what the number is. Like, I mean, it, it's, you just not, it's just not who you, it's just not like whatever. It's not, it, they wouldn't be my first pick. Mm. I would say that. But they're attractive. They just wouldn't be my first pick. But the first pick, it ain't, it ain't, the first visual it ain't pick. moving. That's what I should say. The first visual pick. Okay. This might be my first pick. Once I get, if I'm fucking with the bad bitch, the six, the whatever the fuck, and I get to know all of y'all, then you probably would be my first pick. Mm -hmm. But before I truly get to know y'all, yeah. I'm chasing this bad bitch. Yeah. And that's what I say about nigga. Not to call you a six. But sixes <laughs> and sevens be chasing ten. I think Carl can just call it. And I did not, but it'd be rough. It'd be rough. <laughs> and that's why motherfuckers be like, damn, now you mad at me because I can't accept the bare minimum. I think that's the fucked up part is that a man's look isn't currency. You know, I think men's look don't men men's looks don't matter as much after high school. Like in high school, and even in college a little bit, before money really come into play, <laughs> chicks are a fuck with the nigga who looked the best. Every girl in the school worried about the nigga who looked the best. If that same nigga's a bum at 24, bitches is not checking for him. Like, regardless. That nigga and I'm look very, the very exact sad. Same, better, whatever. Like, I'm going to think, I'm going to pray about him tonight. That's fucked up. Because it's just like, damn. He can still get some pussy. He might can still nail a bitch, but bitches ain't trying to be with that nigga no more. But none of that shit. But I do think it could be that Even nigga. Even if some coochie is wild. A nigga could be, and I heard, it's this uh, term that women use called ugly fine. Like niggas who Like you fine as hell, but you ain't got but, your shit together? But or because they together. rich or because they, they ah. so well put together. Ah. Money make motherfuckers Money make a motherfucker handsome. What did, what did Jay-Z say? What's the ugly billionaire? Yeah, I'm cute. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, damn. Exactly. And I thought about that shit. And I was like, hmm. And I thought about it again and said, no, this nigga ugly. And I moved on. <laughs> but taking Jay-Z out the picture, it's a lot of, like, it was a thread about this shit on Twitter. They had, like, Floyd Mayweather up there. They had, like, it was a couple football players and shit. It's like, can't all right, read. if this nigga was poor, he said he can't read. Yeah. He could count. Can he? I, I would, I would. I would like exchange the skills in a heartbeat. Like if, if I had to give up my skill to read for my skill to be the businessman for what it is. Then, yeah, that's yeah. real. Fuck all that. Damn, like, that's crazy. <laughs> my homie um Fuck them words is insane. My homie worked for like, his fuck communication is crazy. My homie worked for his uh <laughs> uncle's security company. His uncle a millionaire with a security company. Mm -hmm. And they was, you know, he worked with him and shit. He like a director or something like that in the business or whatever. Mm -hmm. They in a meeting. And they said something about like the word sausage. And the nigga had to like, he was like, nigga, spell sausage or something. He was like, he couldn't spell the word. And he was like, damn, you can't even spell sausage. He's like, nigga, I'm a millionaire. You're not. Like, it was like the end of the conversation. <laughs> like, what can you say? <laughs> like, I'm the, uh, you're dumb. I'm not. I just, obviously uh, not. Like, I, 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 <clears throat> what, what do we, what do we rank intelligence off of? I don't know. The, the ability to read and write that's literally what intelligence is not not spelling sausage ah oh, man okay i'm just saying like i feel it i feel like it's more application than knowledge i would say intelligence is more application you can know a lot of shit if you're not like using it to benefit you or better your position in life then what the fuck is the point okay i rather know how to make a million dollars and spell sausage that's all i'm saying I feel it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to these bad bitches. Yes. Back to the bad bitches who can't read or write. They can't read and write? <laughs> I mean, you obviously be cool with it. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're no I'm, talking just about, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. We're playing. talking about men. But again, I do think that it, it's <laughs> fucked up that like, I, I ain't going to say it's fucked up, but a woman's, you know, looks can be currency. But at the same time, a man can... Just better himself in life and be ugly as shit. In that position, so he mm. can earn it. And women can't earn it, so maybe that's just like the the fucked up but fair thing of it mm. is that as a man, it's like your looks aren't social currency, and you can complain about that, or you can look at that like it's a double standard. It's fucked up, but at the same time, you have the opportunity to earn your dating status versus having a woman, to. Yeah, she can't earn that shit. I mean, we got BBLs and all type of crazy shit now. 
But a woman can earn it. But it just takes way uh, more work. I think money makes women look a little bit better, but it don't like if you ugly with bread, niggas is still like <sighs> Oh, I meant in regards to like a woman can literally just make herself look better. Yeah, makeup. Makeup, surgeries, things like a woman can literally like we know so many yeah. women in the industry that like have JT. literally JT. But I think SZA, JT's still waking up ugly though. I don't think so. You don't think that's waking up ugly? No, I don't. Um, I don't think that SZA's waking up ugly. Damn. I don't think that fucking um So these hoes can earn it now. You're right. Yeah, like you can you if you really like out here, like you said, you a boss bitch. Yeah. You a boss bitch, you making money, you can become a bad bitch. Now you're a bad boss bitch. And we still need to come up with a term for that. Ooh, what's the term? <sighs> <laughs> I hate this man. <laughs> we gonna come up with something. I don't know. But you know, you women can earn it. It takes way more work than it don't well, I mean, that's work. equivalent. It that's equivalent take, work. It's not equivalent. Credit credit is not equivalent to a nigga building a company. It's not. Or doing whatever the fuck he got to do to get into the... Damn, I didn't say shit about owners. scamming and shit. I said a boss bitch. That's really like... Who finna bought her body? Pay for these surgeries. Whatever the fuck you pay for them surgeries, it ain't as much work as a nigga who's building a fucking career to wealth. It's not. Some people do what? I mean, not even building a business around it. I'm thinking about the bitches that can just afford to do that already because. They, well, if they just got it like yeah, that. That's they got it like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking you're talking about the bitches who like just saving up to get their ass done. No, I'm talking a about girl. a boss bitch that's yeah. not a bad bitch, but she can make herself a bad bitch because okay. she got money. Well, <laughs> I give you that. I give you that. It's crazy, though. It is crazy. The kids going to still come out ugly. A boss bitch with a BBL and some Botox. Cause them them kids gonna look like and a lace front. Them kids gonna look like HD. Who, who look like before all the money. Well, I, listen. At this point, in the past, what? Let's see, five years. I just feel like, hey, listen, that don't even matter anymore. How your kids come out looking? And not that. It, no, not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like thinking that the kids gonna come at you ugliest. You was ugly as fuck before. This kids gonna come out ugly. Kids are coming out cute as shit, and I'd be like, "Huh? I wonder how." We gotta watch them grow up a little bit, though. A lot of these motherfuckers. You say they're gonna be cute right now and ugly later. Blue Ivy's <laughs> a funny looking preteen. No, she not. Okay, I, I'm, she I just looks like both her parents at once. That's not but funny. She's to you. really cute. You look like Jay Z and Beyonce at the same she's time. She's so cute. That's crazy. <laughs> like she's really adorable. Okay. I hate you. I digress. <laughs> I mean, kids be coming out looking funny. That's all I'm saying. This episode is going to be aired for three hours. It's going to get taken now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Beehive. <laughs> I don't think they in my family. I want no parts. I just want to let y'all know. I said nothing. Love me some Blue Ivy. Yes. Okay. You got anything else for us? You got Cam's Corner? I do not. <laughs> This episode is not brought to you by Cam ah, Wow, you didn't even say it in the beginning anyway. You don't give yeah, a fuck. Because it's not. Wow, it's just crazy. Because it's not. But that's okay, though, because when I come up in here with the drinks, I got I'm not going to want my endorsement back. I got one more thing to say. Oh, we forgot to do our new segment with the memes. We're terrible. I put the memes in there, though. You didn't see new them? New memes? Yeah. You know Let's do some new memes. Okay, fuck it. Let's do some new memes. What time we at, real? It's 8 30 C. We've been on for 45 minutes. All right, we can take 15 more minutes to do some memes. All right. Let's I'm gonna see. I'm going to tell y'all how to fuck a bad bitch after this. Right, Ooh. Directions. Okay. Um, <clears throat> If he leads properly, I'll submit. Nastily. I mean, naturally. Natural. Did, did, did the meme really say that? <laughs> it really do. It's nastily? Stuttered. It stuttered, yeah. Nastily, it said, I'll submit nastily. I mean, naturally. Nastily. Period. I'm glad Jody's here. <laughs> I fuck with that. I just want women to... Actually, it don't take much to me. I want women to uh, know what leadership is to them. A lot of these statements be cute and cool, but bitch, you don't even know what leadership is to you. It's different for every woman. Yeah, it is. And a lot of women haven't even experienced a nigga that's a leader. Mm -hmm. 
don't even including know how their to father. when to follow how because you a nigga <laughs> can't force you to follow him. Correct. He can't. So when a nigga when you meet a nigga who got his own program going and he could kind of fit you into whatever system that he running and whatever his plan is and you not fucking with that shit, shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. That's all I gotta say. I mean, honestly, I agree. Truthfully, um, I just feel like women definitely need to figure out what their idea of leadership is in a man. Um, and I don't know. I think that it's it's on you, not in you. <laughs> like Jody said, it really doesn't take anything for her to be that way because that's how she is. That's who she is. I just think that like, if you're a womanly woman, you exude what you exude and hear that all the time. And it doesn't necessarily take that for you to be that. But if nigga not leave, get the fuck up out of there. But like, you're not going to like make me do something that I already naturally do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Next meme. <laughs> this one's so funny. <laughs> I don't play about my man. <laughs> Go mess with my BD or something. I love it. <laughs> Wow. Or baby mama. <laughs> like you fill in. <laughs> wow. I don't think niggas want their baby mama's getting fucked either though. I think niggas don't care when it's like when it's happening. I definitely but... feel like there are plenty of niggas out here who are so sick of their baby mamas that they wish she would get fucked by a nigga that would take her ass on somewhere to get away from him. Uh, now that you put it that way. <laughs> like, please, please. Yeah. Please, yeah. nigga, I, what, can you go, go fuck my baby mama? This is what she like. This is what she. Please go. Just get the bitch away from me. Like, yeah. for real. And I, look, please, by all means, go for it. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, Actually, when you put it in that context, I agree. Yeah. I don't have anything to add to <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't give a fuck if I ghosted you. I'm going to still like that story if you look good. <laughs> How you feel about that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I am. Damn. I, I, thought, I thought I'm you true though. Um, me, oh, you be muting. Well, if I ghosted you, I probably not going to. If I right. ghosted you, I don't give a fuck. So I'm not going to mute you. So, okay, yeah, right. But yeah. you still going to like the story and shit? Yeah, if the bitch bad, she bad. The bitch look good, she look good. You ghosted a bitch, you still going to like her fucking story. Yes. That's insane as hell Why is that me. toxic? I think that we put too much value in likes. Like if the picture look nice, why can't I like it? I'm you haven't replied in 37 weeks. I don't, I don't weeks. like you. I like the picture. You ghosted me. You haven't replied in 37 weeks. You couldn't tell me that you, woo, woo, what you like in this fucking picture. That's crazy. That's what the like button is made for. I'm not mm. going to stop using it because I don't like you. Yeah, block is that. Blocked. I was just about blizzy, blizzy, blizzy blocked. Why y'all mad? Because I like the picture. I'm, I'm, so, like shit. I'm supporting you. No, don't like shit over here. Mm-mm. At all. Fuck is wrong with you? Y'all like what? Blocking y'all blessings. Like, don't even know. Get out, actually. It don't vali- come in here. It ain't validating at all? No. no. Validating what? That you are a piece of trash? No, that you still look good even though you you not date worthy. Oh. That's all it's saying. Like, you're not worthy of me dating you, but you look yeah, great. Yeah, you a sick ass. Sick ass. Why am I sick? Because you still look good it even don't though matter. you're not dateable. I wouldn't go to nobody anyway, but at the same time, mm. if I did, that don't mean that you don't look good no more. Don't huh? look good no more. What the fuck? Next meme. Okay. This one's a little more serious. All right. Uh, don't make the mistake of being so understanding and forgiving that you overlook the fact that you're being disrespected. How do you feel about that? Yes. Yeah. 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 Being understanding <laughs> can lead to you uh, letting too much go. Absolutely. Because when you understand something... To understand something, you have to not take the shit personal. That's yep. the number one thing about yep. understanding is like taking yourself out of the center of the problem and just letting that person be who they and are. And that shit is that hard. Issue. Ain't that yes. shit hard? Because once you understand that shit, it's hard not to forgive it. Absolutely. You you damn near automatically gonna because you because you because you automatically just if it was you, how would you want somebody to you treat you? Like what would you want somebody to do? I agree with this one hundred percent. Like having a kind heart is very hard. And what I realized, like being an empathetic person. It's so difficult to really be like, no, you cannot yeah. accept that. Like, you cannot. Like, there's even like times where I've had to be like, I got an apology and that's cool. 
but like I can't like that's it. Like I yeah. can't move forward from yeah. this. Like apology accepted, but that's it. Yeah. Access denied. Yeah, and I think yeah. you gotta get you gotta get to that. And that I made a uh I did a monologue about that about like me taking a break from therapy because of shit like that though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, therapy made me such an understanding person that I was also a very forgiving person mm. and I was given too much. just way too many chances and shit because it's just like, oh, I get that you did this not to slight me, but because um, of your personal experiences or shit that you've been through or, you know, um, a defense mechanism, whatever the case may mm-hmm. be, you didn't do this shit to hurt me. So like, let's, you know, let's, let's try to figure it out. But it's like, at some point it's like, all right, bitch. Yeah. Like you like, didn't do it to hurt me, but you're also not like, Trying not to hurt me. <laughs> like You gotta weird. figure that shit out yeah. and do better. Yeah. At the end of the day. Okay, this is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you act like Krishan when it comes to a nigga, I don't wanna be friends with you. I need my, all my bitches to feel like Lori. Straight up. I don't wanna run into a crew of those bitches. Which which crew of bitches would you rather run into? A group of Lori's or a group of Krishans? Let me know. This is really tell me something about this is you. This really two, ends, two different ends of the spectrum. Absolutely. That's why they said what it said. I, if I had to choose, gun in my head, I'm running into the Lori's. Krishan don't have teeth. Like, she missing she teeth. Has, she has teeth. She's missing a tooth. The front one? What the okay, fuck? Okay, but she still has lot. teeth. Like, you talking about she don't have teeth? Like, she walking around here... <laughs> She a little slow. I don't know, man. Like, ah, we don't know if Lori's slow. She don't talk. She do talk. Right? I watched that whole Lori interview before. This bitch is gorgeous. Yeah, she's beautiful as shit. And she, her body. She one of the baddest bitches of all time, and she's definitely the baddest bitch of this era. Why the fuck didn't you name her? I forgot about her. It's crazy. I, she don't. She don't. You come think a lot? Of, I need a top. T- I need a ten. I need a list of the ten baddest bitches. Yes, in the industry. Bernice is in there. Brianna. What's the dark skin super thick bitch? Bria Miles. Bria Miles. Okay. Okay. Bria Miles is in there. It's a girl named Brianna that's a fitness influencer that's in there. Okay. That bitch is bad. You know what I'm talking about? Is it Brianna Nicole? Some shit? I don't know. I don't know. It's another girl named uh Nina No Long or some shit. Okay. She looked like Nina Long a little bit. Mm-hmm. She just a regular like these bitches is regular bad bitches who not like celebrities. They okay. got hella followers and shit, but they just some badass bitches. Um, it's another chick named The Real Mint or some shit. Yeah, you be on these bitches' pages daily. Mm, no, nah, not daily. They come across my timeline though. Weekly. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's some bad bitches out here. But if I had to just chick pick industry chicks, I don't know. Like it's a lot of ass. It's bad. It's definitely a lot of badass industry women. It's mm. crazy. Mm. There's a lot of bitches in Chicago that. But Lori Harvey is number too. one. It's crazy because I said that uh, Lori Harvey one of the best bitches of all time, and I always debate like what what era had the most attractive women with my older homies. Because mm-hmm. like I remember one time the I was 90s. talking about R and B. I was talking about nineties R and B, and I was mm-hmm. like, why was these all these nineties R and B niggas scared to talk to bitches? Like, <laughs> can we talk? And ah! it's just it's just hella nineties R and B. Oh, Beauty with Drew Hill. It's just like hella R and B songs. It's like. You're scared to I approach I want you, this but bitch. I can't mention too I'm like, bad. What are these niggas going through? And my big homie was like, nigga, have you seen 90s bitches? These bad bitches as shit. As I'm scared. My heart beating fast. So I always say that, like, I think our chicks got it. And I say that because a lot of those chicks were just naturally beautiful and pretty and all mm-hmm. that. But a fat ass, not a BBL, a natural fat ass in the 90s compared to what a fat ass is today, it's not even fucking close. No, the it's fact insane. that we thought Lisa Ray. I was gonna say like J-Lo literally Lori Harvey would have a fat ass if Lori this niggas was back would think Lori Harvey was the thickest bitch in the world. Yeah, the absolutely. Cause and fucking, a bitch with an ass like fucking Megan Thee Stallion would be like, like did that exist? What back the then? hell is happening? Absolutely. Okay, so it did exist, but my definitely thing is like, big booties. Definitely what the Buffy fuck, the body. What the fuck? That was a little after that era, but she was maybe the first super thick bitch that I remember coming on the scene, but. I'm saying like in the really? 90s, 90s. Yeah, like Buffy the was Body like was 97. like... 97. Yeah, mm. that was like King Magazine era. That was like, yeah, that was in the 2000s for sure. Mm. But um, I'm just going back looking at Players Club and shit like that and like, what the <laughs> fuck made us think J-Lo and Lisa Ray had a fat ass? Like, Facts. Motherfuckers what the definitely fuck, what, thought like, that like, J-Lo happening? booty was so big. She was big. known for having an ass. And she didn't so have an So big. Ass. And it's like literally pequeño. 
<laughs> like today, J Lo would get zero. It wouldn't be like, oh, that's a nice. It would, she would Nobody's get zero even looking at that shit. Maya too. Maya got a nice body right now though. But now, but, but even still, she like had, her, she was known for ass. Yeah, like that. that's crazy. Think it's Ashanti. Ashanti's thick as shit now, but yeah. back then she just had like a nice, cute, shaped body, little butt, like yeah. nothing. But now even no BBL, just regular chicks have like Booty. way better asses. Yeah, now. that's fact. Like Jody got a fatter ass. It's the like. GMO. Oh, thank you. It's the GMO. <laughs> it's what's in the food. Just comparing two Mexicans. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Next. That's why you don't thank niggas. Yeah, That's no. why you take compliments and be like, I know. That's why, because niggas is shady. All right, I think I got one more. Oh, I got a few. Damn, how many? Oh, I'm okay. Um, Dude, <laughs> how many should I do? Just do like one more. One more? All right. <laughs> this one says, you really be seeing why the last bitch left the nigga. Who? <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I mean, I, I'm looking at that from a perspective of, of a yourself. Man. Yep. Like, you really be seeing, seeing why the last, last nigga left the bitch too. With that shit. Man, or, listen. Like, all the shit that you be saying. Like, because with women, <clears throat> they complain about. I dated this one chick that was, she told me what her pet peeve was with men. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, that would be super fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. And as I dated her, I found myself doing exactly that. But it was kind of because oh, damn. of Damn. Her... <laughs> Not no, you said yeah. I'm going to get on. I'm going to do your pet peeve. No, no, no. I didn't bitch. do it on purpose. So her pet peeve was like men who agree with her. Like just agree. Like a man might have a point about me making a point about something and she say the opposite and he'd be like, oh, yeah. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah. And I was like, yeah, why the fuck? Like people should have their own fucking opinion that should stand on their opinion mm -hmm. regardless of what this other person say. But as we continue to date, I realized like this bitch tries to turn everything into an argument. Like she tries to like go back and forth about everything, mm -hmm. like shit that I don't care about. Oh, so did you so come I to terms just... where you can understand why a nigga would yes, be like, like, you know I, what? Yeah, I, bitch, I start doing right. this shit all the time. Like <laughs> yeah, she'll say right. something, I'll be like, no, it's this, and she'd be like, no, da da da. And I'm like, okay, you got, you it. got like, it. Like you're right. Actually, you, you're right. That <laughs> is. I'm not that. doing this with you. Like I don't have time for this shit, bitch. I don't even care. Like ah, oh, that's valid. About, you say a, I see why niggas. We was in a hotel, and I was like, damn, it's like one of them toilets where the things shoot up. I think it's called a bidet. She was like, no, it's this. I was like, no, I think it's called. Dude, she's like, no. I'm just like, okay, you got it, bitch. Like, cool. It, it'll be shit that's like so fucking irrelevant. See, and that's crazy because you you better than me because it's me going on Google. Not doing it's it. It's a bidet, bitch. Not doing it. <laughs> it's because, a bidet, bitch, like I said. And then it's the other thing, too, of like, you know, what do I win? Like, what did I gain or win from that? Nothing. Because either I'm going to be irritated or you're going to be irritated as fuck. Or both. Or both. Yeah. Because if real. I pull the Google out, because if it mean that much to you and I pull the Google out and prove you wrong, now you blue. You know what I'm saying? That's real. And now I can't get no coochie. And I don't even care about this bidet enough to not get the pussy. He say, I'm fucking, even though you irritated. <laughs> you even blew me, bitch. Shut up. You're right. Let's go. Yeah. That's real. <laughs> but yeah, I, def I definitely be seeing like, them true colors are going to show sooner or later for sure. Absolutely. For sure. Okay. <laughs> Never been called crazy by a man who didn't come back for more. So who's really crazy? I said one more, Cam. Um, you said two more. I did not. Okay, well, we can cut it and edit it. Uh, let's go. go. Let's, let's do it. You said no, what? don't Never do it. been called crazy by what? We should save it. Let's do it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that makes her not want to. She's difficult. She's like the girl I was just talking about. What the fuck? Like, you see? You see how niggas be? Never been called crazy by a man who didn't come back for more. So, who's really crazy? Mm. Both of y'all. He might not have came back for more of your personality, though. It doesn't matter. It even does. A, even a come it back. Exactly. That's just the reason why she crazy. Nah, it matters for sure. And that's exactly how niggas be getting caught up in dumbass situations and be getting stabbed. No, nah, it's just that niggas know how to compartmentalize. Like, I know what I'm here for. Like, I'll deal with the other shit to get what I want, but I know what I'm here for. But it's... That's crazy. That's insane. Like, I gee, mean, I'm you trying call to... It insane, but... I'm trying to, like, make it make sense. You ain't never had a nigga who had great sex and nothing else, and you just kind of double back for the sex? No. And, like, dealt with whatever? No. 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 Like, you... Uh, uh, coochie turned off. 
Yeah. You cannot get that again. Yeah, I think men have the skill of compartmentalizing and saying. No, I like, think men are whores. And I mean, that compartmentalizing that is not, that's not, that's to so use that word for that situation is fucking insane. Labeling. That's not compartmentalizing. That's literally just looking past the fact that a bitch is fucking crazy because you that's can't exactly keep your dick com- in your pants. That's exactly what compartmentalizing is, is looking past the fact that, et cetera. That's what that's what compartmentalizing is. Like TC's I'm gonna deal. How to get a bad bitch. I'm gonna deal with the part of this that I want to deal with, and that's it. Teach these niggas how to get a bad bitch. Okay. <laughs> so look, on some real shit though, I think there's like this gap in, like, is a lot of men, rich men especially, that say like, oh, I'm not gonna buy her a Birkin, or I'm not gonna buy her this or that because she's gonna fuck a broke nigga anyway, right? So there's a lot of rich niggas that's saying interesting women that they deal with these bad bitches they deal with will fuck broke niggas but there's a lot of broke niggas saying they're like damn i can't get a bitch because these bitches want dinner dates and these bitches won't so it's a gap in communication because the broke niggas is 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 in numbers saying that they can't get these bitches but the rich niggas is saying broke niggas is fucking these bitches so stop buying them shit mm. so where are these broke niggas that's fucking these bad bitches and i'm here to tell y'all how i did it mm. <laughs> no nah, seriously though <laughs> Um, I think that, cause I, I, I'm literally like, I'm not broke, but I'm a regular nigga. Right. Mm-hmm. And I've fucked with women who date rich niggas, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or are in relationships with rich niggas mm-hmm. or even engaged to rich. Like when I say rich, I mean like Michael rich. Jordan's family member, mm-hmm. like rich, like, mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck the case may be. <laughs> I remember one time a nigga pulled up, like I was, I was fucking with this chick. I'm 19. She's 19. We walking out of her building. She had her own crib, which is crazy. Didn't think none of it. But we walking out of her building and we get to the little, you know, driveway. She walking with me. She, she walking with me to my car. And um, a Porsche 911 pull up. It's my dream car at the time. I'm 19. Still my dream car. Porsche 911 pull up, all white. I'm looking at her like, damn, bitch, this car raw as hell. This is a Porsche 911. Woo woo. I turn around, look at her. This bitch like she saw a ghost. I'm like, it's a nice ass car, right? Like. Nigga hop out the car going crazy on this bitch. Like, this her nigga. And I'm dick riding. I'm <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, but I just fucked her though. So it was cool. But um, he going crazy on her and shit. And he like, you fucking with this young broker. This nigga's like, this nigga uh, own a popular fashion clothing line in Chicago. This nigga's like 30 something, right? <laughs> fucking with this young ass chick. And um, that was the first time I fucked a rich nigga bitch. I haven't stopped since. But this is this is what this is how you do it, right? For, I'm dead ass right now. Like this is how you do it. A lot of rich niggas throw money at every problem that a woman has. So a woman can say, "Oh, it's a flat tire. Well, okay, I'm finna send somebody." Or I need this fixed in my house. Or I need to send somebody. I need my nails done. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna pay this. Da da da. But when she say, "Me and my mama into it," and I'm sad about it, and I don't know what to do. What do you like? He he might all right. He go a couple hours, go to the spa. Okay, the spa was great, but I still I still had this problem that needs critical thinking and mm-hmm. time and someone to listen to me and someone I can vent to to solve it. And a lot of niggas fall short in that area, especially like rich niggas who don't have time for that type of shit or who don't probably even like this bitch for real, right? Mm-hmm. That's where I come in at, like <laughs> for real though. Like I'm a critical thinker. I'm good at solving problems. I'm good at listening. I'm empathetic. So even if like I'm a fuck the bitch still. I'm listen to her problem. I'm a fucker, but I still actually give a fuck about like whatever she got going on when she tell me the story about whatever she whatever bothering her. Mm-hmm. So I think that a lot of men assume that a woman because we in this era where dating is so transactional, a lot of men assume that women don't have other needs or forget that women have other needs that aren't monetary, other needs that have to be met in other ways and mm-hmm. money can't buy that. And if you lean into that, or if that's one of your strengths, then you can fuck these bad bitches. You can fuck a rich nigga bitch. You can like, <laughs> you wouldn't be out here complaining that a woman, you know, need X, Y, and Z for you to date her because you would know that she got other needs that can be filled, and you can fuck her based on that, and not buying her shit. Because I'm gonna fuck the nigga bitch, and I ain't gonna buy her shit. I'm gonna fuck her for free. Mm. Oh. It's not that type of party. I thought she was feeling me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. not. She does not like your voice. It does not turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like, damn. That's kind of crazy. What's crazy? That, like, that whole What's crazy about thing. It? Like, it's crazy that I listen to women. It's crazy that you're only doing it because you know that. That's all you have to offer. It's not that I'm only doing it for that reason. I might actually like her, but I, I don't think it's going nowhere either, though. No, because she got this rich nigga. Yeah. Is it an ego thing? Do you just like fucking a rich nigga, bitch? Nah, just I to don't say that you. I don't. I don't go after a girl. It's not like I see a rich nigga with a girl and I'm gonna go fuck his bitch. Like that's never happened before. But do you find out that that's a rich nigga, bitch, before you fuck her or after? It might be during, before, after. Whatever. During sex? During is <laughs> no, During like, or no, you're saying like, why y'all one, dealing with this each other? This is one girl like I, I dated, like recently I dated and we fucked. Not, the next morning the nigga was blowing her phone up. I didn't try to nigga. When she started telling me about the nigga and how he owned this big trucking company and da 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 and I was like shit. So, why would she start telling you about the nigga? Bitch what is, is like wrong, wrong with niggas? motherfuckers? Yeah, I get, I get, I see. Yeah, I, yeah. All right. Uh, it's bitches that Points I know, was made. I see how you be doing it now. It's, it's bitches that I know that <laughs> that will like be like they fuck with me, but they will brag to me about, about they, they nigga. Like, I, and it's almost done in a way that like like as if it's gonna like annoy me or some shit, like or to humble me or check me or something. It's like, bitch, I'm. Fucking I just you. like what? Like, I don't care. Are women okay? No, I don't think they are. No, they're not. Mm, thank God. Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing though. Like a chick is gonna fuck the nigga she like, regardless. If she like this nigga, she's gonna fuck him. Touche. Yeah, rich nigga or not. When a rich nigga won't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got for today, Cam. You got anything you want to let these people know before we close out? I do. So, I am planning a mixer for Killer Cocktails. And it was going to be for Halloween weekend, but I have to change that now because there's something else big going on Halloween weekend that I can't let you guys know right now. Can't say it on here. It's not for me to say. Someone else's big news. Anyways, yeah. So November, I'm having a mixer for Killer Cocktails. Mm -hmm. But also, I will be creating a drink for everybody's show on FC Network. Including ours. Mm -hmm. And you all will not only get the recipe for me, but also content behind the recipe. And of course, they will drink it on their shows. So. I want a rose and mule. You told me like 27,000 times. You know what I want it to, to be in it? I, what? Right. Rosalind. The apple <laughs> crown. Of course. That she was supposed to make for me for my birthday. And the ginger. That she was supposed Beer. to be for my birthday. I would have did that in New York, though. But uh, Boogie decided to get the fucking Cosmigos and I died. I came back to life, but I definitely died. Could have stayed where you was at. Could have stayed where you was at on the ground in New York. <laughs> no, okay. Never mind. <laughs> you see? You see? You see? Uh, Shout out to New York and them dirty ass streets. Oh, ciao. Sheesh. That shit was wild. That's the dirty. We walked, we went to a fucking pregame at a multi million dollar establishment, pit, pit, whatever. We was on like the 30 what floor, and there was a pile of trash outside their door. It's disgusting. Insanity. Yeah. Doesn't matter how much money, at least here it matters how much money you got. <laughs> at least here, the more money, you don't got to worry about certain shit. But Not there, it doesn't matter. It don't fucking Like matter. you could be staying in a fucking $15,000 a month apartment and you walk out and smell trash. And see rats. And see rats. That's Everywhere. insane to me. Not That's just a rat too. No, 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 no. The same rats no, 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 in a fucking alley. No, 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 the family. Uh, yeah, the, it's not, not a the, fucking alley, I guess. Not the fa There's no alleys. Right. <laughs> not the family. The extended family. Yeah. Like. Big mama. And her nieces and nephews. It's crazy out here. So yeah. Have fun in New York. Wonderful time. I'm not sure when I'll be returning. I don't know. But I kind of do know. But I don't know. 
for sure. Not for sure. Because I don't know for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm done. I'm done playing for real. That's all I got, man. We out. <laughs>